Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all safe and healthy and well during this crazy time that we're living through right now. In this video I'm going to be talking about sort of what's coming up on my channel, especially the Vietnam film, but also what other projects I'm working on that are relevant to you guys, and just generally how the virus has affected my life and future trips and things like that. But before we get into it all, I just want to stress what this video is not going to be. It's not going to be another one of those videos of like top 10 things to do whilst you're self-isolated or anything like that, because there's so many of those out there right now it's almost become like white noise and whilst they can be inspirational and motivating and have tons of good ideas for certain people you know you got to bear in mind it's other people who during this time of incredible uncertainty like they might be suffering from anxiety they might be worried about their jobs uh, their health their friends and family's health and just no idea what's going to happen in the future so sort of the idea of this constant pressure like you should be upskilling and stuff like that it's like I've had people message me going like if I hear one more person tell me to learn how to do a fucking handstand I swear to god so I'm not going to do that plus it's all well and good for me to say hey I've got all this extra time look how productive I can be but it would be a bit insensitive to a particular group out there and they're a small minority group that gets overlooked sometimes they're called parents there's countless families out there, including my brothers and plenty of other friends who've got young kids and they're now having to work from home and homeschool their kids and just try and keep their kids entertained inside the house all day. And for them to hear like, oh really, I'm supposed to be using this time to learn Spanish as well. Right, okay, well, here's an idea. Take a big step back and literally fuck your own face! Maybe they won't be that aggressive, but you get what I mean. So what I'm going to do is just go through everything. And I think the last time I spoke to the camera really was at the end of the Morocco trip. So I'm going to take you from there and everything that's happened since then and what I'm working on towards the future. So first of all, the Morocco film, that has gone down an absolute storm. Like, thank you so much to everyone that's watched it. I was really, really proud of that film. I dare say it might be my best, um, but I didn't want to say this when it's being released because I didn't want to influence this people's judgment when they watched it. But the fact it's gone down so great with so many lovely comments and the view count, you know, it's about to hit 100,000 views and it's only been online for a few weeks. It usually takes a video like a few months to get near that, and sometimes they don't get even close to that at all. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, of course, there's still always one or two stupid comments that you get that always make me laugh. Like, I had one guy comment, and I've just tre checked because I wanted to show the screen grab a bit, but he's, he deleted the comment. But this guy went, oh my god, you Europeans coming here to Morocco bringing a coronavirus, how dare you? And I was like, what's, what's that got to do with us? And he's like, what, because you brought the coronavirus here? I was like, yeah, but our tour was in September, way before the coronavirus. He's like, no, no, but you've just uploaded the video now. It's a new video. I was like, yeah, it's not a live video, you know? Plus, if you actually look carefully in the video, you can kind of tell what time of year it was because if you look at where the sun is during the sky at a certain time of day, you can see it reflecting off the giant letters that say September 2019. But it gets even better than that because recently I had to re-upload my old Scotland film and the USA episode of HK2NY. That was because of copyright issues with music. And on the Scotland film I had not one but two people comment. And this one I have screen grabbed so let me check. This woman said, this is really selfish. Coming up here with the spread of coronavirus, especially Londoners. But you might be thinking, come on Carl, you're being a bit harsh. I mean, you have just uploaded this video. How is she supposed to know that it was filmed in 2012? So let's play the video. We'll play it from the start and then we'll see how long it takes you guys to figure out when it was shot. So here we go. Yeah. You know, I even had in like, she's had to comment on the video and I have a pinned comment saying, this is from 2012, but somehow she didn't see the giant text at the start, she didn't see the comment, but went straight to posting that. And it's just like, oh my God, like how do these people even manage to get up in the morning and tie their shoelaces? I mean, do you wear Velcro, is that it? Are you still using Velcro on your shoes? But, you know, I, I post some of these on Instagram every now and again and people are like, oh, you know, don't worry about it, Carl, don't get angry. It's like, I'm not, it's fucking hilarious, you know? It's like, how can people be that dumb? But, you know, saying all that, 99.9% .9 of the comments are always super positive and lovely and I always appreciate your feedback guys, I really really do. And just in case you get ones like that, they just, just made me laugh, it's like... But the nice things about getting to re-upload the Scotland and USA episode was um, I just got to tweak the edits a little bit and I'm not talking George Lucas special edition having big aliens walk across the screen and stuff like that. 
It was just like the Scotland video that was filmed and made before I had a YouTube channel, and so the target audience was like the other three people who went on the trip just for us to watch. And so it meant there was like a lot of extra kind of in jokes and bits like that that weren't necessarily you know good for the story or whatever. So I put on a new intro just setting up the trip and then I just took off I actually cut it shorter by seven minutes, just got rid of some of the flap that was just yeah, just kind of slowed the story down and wasn't relevant. You know, I still wanted to keep the spirit of the original film just tighter to sort of tell the story better because it's it's quite a fun little trip like that. It's got like a nice sort of whimsical feel, so um, it's nice just to have it out sort of, you know, just designed for the public rather than, you know, a video just for me and my mates. And then the USA episode I actually put a bit back in because I had filmed a bit on the trip explaining why we're doing like the Deep South route and it's because I've been to America 13 times before, traveled to all the national parks, so I wanted to go see something different. But I didn't put it in the original edit because it just sounded a bit too like, I've been to America 13 times, so I was like, ah, oh, I'll leave it out. But then of course, as soon as that episode originally went online, I had so many people going, why did you do that route? There's so many better things to see in America. I was like, ah, I know, I just didn't explain it. So that bit's back in. Super size, America. <laughs> but there was one thing at the end of my Morocco video that I do regret saying. The next tour we're doing is in Borneo, and that's in April. Yeah, we're all set to go for that, and I can't wait. And yeah, straight after I posted that, the whole world just came to a standstill with the coronavirus. So the Borneo tour has now been postponed till next April because we're supposed to be there right now. And, um, you know, luckily everyone in our group was really good about it, understanding and stuff. Um, so, you know, I haven't even met the group yet, but it feels like we've got a good gang already. So I'm looking forward to seeing them next year. And, you know, it's, it's frustrating for me, but at the same time, I'm lucky I get to travel often, you know, but I felt bad for other people in the group, for like, for, for some of them, or for many of them, that was their one trip for the year, you know, and now it's just gone, so I felt a lot worse for them than, rather than for me, it's like, well, you know, I've travelled loads last year and I'll get to travel again in the future, you know, but... So that's now happening April 2021, and there are still four spaces left on the tour, so once we get the new date and the new cost finalized because the price might change just of inflation or whatever the hell's gonna happen with the world economy but once it is solidified I'll let you guys know because yeah there are four spaces still left if you want to come on that trip and in terms of my day-to-day -day life like we're in lockdown in the UK now so I've been here in my flat and you know I'm lucky that my work as an editor I can do from home I mean I have my own edit suite I make all my documentaries from home but Problem is, all the work's dried up, no one's making any videos, so yeah, we'll see what happens. I should be able to get through this financially okay. I mean, I kind of fall through the gaps of where the government helps people out, but hopefully I can just sort of, you know, you know, stay afloat during this and then, um, you know, get back to work uh, once the economy starts, starts moving again. But of course, having this extra time gives me the opportunity to work on the Vietnam series, and that's the next series that'll be coming up online. This is my six week solo backpacking trip from January and I think it's going to be three episodes actually. I wasn't sure if it's going to be two or three but I've started editing it and it's already 20 minutes long and I haven't even left Saigon the first place yet. So I think it'll be three episodes and yeah I'm curious to see, you know the start of the video is quite bits and pieces like a day trip to Mekong Delta, then the Coochie Tunnels and this, that and the other. So I'm kind of looking forward to once I get on the road and actually figure out what the vibe of the film is going to be. So. Very curious to how that's going to come together. Style of Mr. Beast Backpackers House Dalat thing. Oh, you've done it before. Uh, uh, <laughs> what a pro, what a pro. But I've had loads of people message me saying, well, surely the Vietnam series can come out any day now because you've got all this extra time to work on that. And it's like, well, not necessarily because whilst, yes, it'll come out quicker than I would have done if I was working, I'm using all this extra time I've got to work on other things that can create me income and passive income. Some of the things that I'm working on that are relevant to you guys is first of all I'm completely revamping and rebuilding my website because currently my website is just a portfolio of like oh here's all my travel films in one place but what I want to turn it into is like an information hub because the questions I always get asked the most about my trips like what was the budget, what was the itinerary, what was that hostel you stayed at, all of that so I'm going to have, for every trip I've done, I'm going to have a full budget and itinerary page. I've made the first one for the Egypt and Jordan trip, 
Right, it's got everything from the budget breakdowns, the complete itinerary that you can download. It's got every activity listed and links to booking those activities, every hotel hostel with links to booking them, like alternate tour ideas, everything. You know, I haven't launched it yet because it's a huge, huge project. There's a lot of work to do. I've got to go through all my old trips, figure out the budgets, go through all bank statements and things like that, and obviously build each website page. And I'm going to save launching it for when this sort of lockdown looks like it's about to stop because if I was to upload a whole bunch of sort of budget videos and planning videos right now, everyone's like, well, that's great, but we can't travel. So I want to, you know, once people can start traveling again, I can then go, boom, here's all this information. And ideally I want people to get in the habit of, they'll watch one of my films and then they'll go to my website and get all the information they want about it. It'd be useful for me and useful for you guys. So that's, so that's one project I'm working on. Another one I'm doing um, is I'm creating an e-learning course about how to make your first travel video. Now I did a very brief video series of this on my YouTube channel but this one is going to go into far far more detail like much longer way more extensive and um, this is going to be going on sale through uh, Traverse, Traverse events who I've worked with a lot over the last year. Um, don't know when it's going on sale yet, don't know how much for because I'm still in the process of creating it but Again, when that's launched, I'll let you guys know about it. So that's some of the things that I'm working on during the day, because I'm kind of saving working on Vietnam for evenings and weekends as if I still had normal work on, and then during the day I'm sort of concentrating on projects that, you know, can build up my passive income and just get me some money in, because that's, that's what I need right now. My work's dried up. Got to work on some other things. But it just means I don't know when Vietnam's coming out yet. I'm not going to give you a release date because I'm still working my way through it. And you know, the editing process, any film speeds up as you go through because you find the rhythm of the film and you can start editing more very quickly. But yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But uh, you know, follow my Instagram, follow my Facebook, and you can keep up to date with all the announcements on there. But of course, we don't know how long this lockdown is going to go on for. So you know, once the Vietnam series is out. Um, what's going to come out of my channel after that until we can start traveling again. I mean, there's some things I'd like to make, like I've been dying to make like an HK2NY retrospective video for a while, kind of looking back on the trip, sort of telling some of the untold stories, the motivation behind the trip and um, what is like filming it and how like I think the video turned out and stuff like that. So there's, that could be like a good fun half hour video sort of looking back on that trip. Which I think will be interesting for you guys. Like people got a lot of love for that series, so that'll be a good one to get out. There's also budget videos to make for all the budgets and itineraries that are gonna be having on my website. There's things like I could do like an FAQ video, I could do some live videos. If you want to do like a live QA, just let me know. Um, I could do an MTV Cribs <laughs> kind of tour my flat if you want. Like, you know, just leave in the comments section the kind of videos you'd like to see after Vietnam's done and you know, I can sort of start getting around to some of those ideas. I even have an unedited trip from Ireland in 2014. Uh, so this was after HK2NY, before Quest for Everest. I did a few day road trip um, around Ireland, but it never got edited because I was still editing HK2NY when I was on that trip. And then after I finished editing HK2NY, we'd done the Everest trip. I was like, oh, I want to do that one next. And so the Ireland trip got forgotten about. Now, I have no idea if this film is any good. It could be an absolute bag of shit. I haven't even looked at it. It was a bit of a weird trip, so maybe, maybe, maybe I'll get to dig that one out. But, you know, if I get round to editing that, that would mean we've been locked down for a very long time. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, like I said, I'll leave a pinned comment. Just leave suggestions of the things you'd like to see from the channel, like other just little short videos I can do. Even in the meantime, whilst I'm editing Vietnam, I could just do a quick update video of chatting about, chatting about stuff. So just, yeah, let me know the kind of things you'd like to see. But you know, even though I'm talking about how productive I've been and all these things I'm working on, it's not like I'm doing that every day. Like some days I just wake up and just like, ah, oh, you know, I just can't be bothered, you know? And it's, we're all going through this very weird scenario and stuff and some people are going to handle it better than others and most of the time I'm all right you know and again I, I do have it really really good I live by myself I, I'm you know I'm healthy friends and family are healthy so I've got it really really good during a situation as long as I get through it financially okay I'm good but there's still some days where it just all feels a bit too much and um, 
It's actually during the day I'm fine because during the day I can just get on with stuff. Um, it's just at night time. I've had a real trouble sleeping um, the last two or three weeks, which you can probably tell because, I mean, uh, I mean, when I'm not tired, I look tired. And when I am tired, I look like I've been punched in the face. And I always get comments on videos going, oh, you look so tired, man. And it's like, well, it's just, that's just how I look, you know? Um, you know, some days you just start worrying about everything and you just, like the idea of setting your laptop working away, it's just, you just can't do it. So you end up just relaxing and watching TV or, you know, I've been playing my guitar. I've even been posting some of those videos on Instagram, just showing off a bit. I think some people are sort of waiting for everything just to reset back to how it was, like as if there'll just be one day where it's like, right, everything's open again and we'll run out in the streets and have a big party. Like, I don't think it's gonna be like that. Like how things got gradually more locked down, I think it'll be gradual of how they ease things back to normal life. So there's not gonna be this sort of satisfying climax to this whole crazy scenario. And so for my future trips, you know, it might be that they're more locally based or maybe just in Europe based um, for the first few ones that I can do. I mean, I've been dying to do like a good sort of UK or even just England road trip and properly show off my own country, you know. Um, we did that pile of wank three weekend adventures trip that was for a client and it was just, you know, three weekend adventures from a Monday to a Friday. It was just the stupidest thing, making every city look dead. And But I'd love to do a proper England road trip and stuff. So maybe that's something um, that can be organized if we can start traveling around UK, but can't, uh, you know, go overseas yet. Um, you know, and if that's a success, I could do one for Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland and Ireland, you know? So that's one idea I've got. Um, Obviously all the tours, future ideas for tours that I mentioned at the end of the Morocco video, like you know Patagonia, Northern Vietnam, Maldives, everything. We still want to do those, we're still planning to do those. It's just, the question is just when, no one knows when yet. So those will definitely still happen. It's just what dates, we don't know. I mean, I'd love to, if this was over by August, for example, I mean, I'm not optimistic about that, but if it was, I'd love to just organize a tour for like an island hopping, boat trip around Greece or Croatia or something where it's just like let's everyone just get together hang out get drunk enjoy being outside enjoy swimming in the sea visiting different islands eating great food and just just relax you know and enjoy life like my first trip after all this is over I you know I don't want some real challenging soul searching adventure I just want to just go and have fun and chill you know <laughs> We'll see what happens. We'll see how long this lasts. There's gonna be good days, it's gonna be bad, but just, you know, try and count your blessings. You know, I just, I just can't wait to get traveling again, get back out there and, you know, explore this beautiful planet that we've got, meet some amazing people, have share some incredible experiences, you know, and before you know it, we will be doing that again, whether it's this year or the next, you know. And I'm very, very fortunate in my life that I've managed to have many of those experiences already, so, I'm just kind of looking back on that right now. Super grateful for that and just can't wait for more of them in the future. Cheers, buddy. That's what it's all about. Cheers. Cheers.